Hey guys, so today I'm back here again with, um, not new species, but an update. So, I'm pretty sure you saw one of my previous videos where I showed the uh, baby caterpillars of the Cecropia moths. Well, I'm glad to show that they are now all grown up as L5s. So, let's go through them, shall we? So, as you can see, there are many of them, like this one here. They're getting very large. I'm using the um, net and bottle method. So there's, you have this big net with a bunch of poo all over it or whatever. And then you take your caterpillars, you put them in a bottle of water with host plant in the water bottle to keep it fresh. Then you just put them on there. <clears throat> As you can see, they've been chomping at it. Now, the Scropia moths are the biggest moth in North America. However, they're not the biggest caterpillar in North America. That goes to the Hickory Horned Devil. I have very many of them. Let's see exactly. I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Hmm. I have twenty one. So that's a good amount. We had a few deaths and a little bit of disease that kind of struck. But uh, after the disease, we had um, very good growth. We still have a few ones that are just like tiny. They're all L5 though. A few of them were slow like this one, which is why they're only so small despite being an L5. And how some of these guys are just big. Sadly, though, you won't be seeing the caterpillars this year. I mean, um, the adult moths, because they have to overwinter in their cocoons no matter what. Well, this is nice. Hmm. Found this guy. You know, I don't know what this species is. Can somebody tell me what this is? I feel like whenever I get sweet gum... I always find this type of caterpillar. I don't know whether it's a moth or a butterfly, but I don't know what it is. Could somebody... Let me see if I can get a good picture of it. Someone tell me what that is. Yeah. Let's see, they have some nice... Red, orange, yellow, and blue tubercles while they're having a green body. They're basically like rainbow caterpillars. Actually, let's see how this one. Caterpillars, it's kind of weird. They have like a smell to them. They just stink up whatever cage they're in. When you hold them, they stink up your hand. I had a friend, the friend who has sent me these, and uh, he has said that he didn't know that they had a smell. And he asked somebody else who had breathed them and said that they didn't know they had a smell. So maybe it's just these guys specifically have a weird quirk i don't know but they stink smells like a tomato garden or like a really weird stink bug 
It's kind of interesting. But yeah. So, if you want to replicate these guys yourself, just don't keep them too crowded. Um, if you accidentally get, well, it's not really by accident, but if you un are unlucky to get a disease, all you have to do is, um, all you have to do is just quarantine them. You don't actually have to get rid of them. You could quarantine them until they, um, get better because they can actually come back from their diseases. But yeah, they'll grow over about maybe a month, month and a half. These guys are about a month old or so. Some of these guys are maybe a month, uh, two weeks, something like that. So just be a smart breeder with these guys. I wouldn't say these are beginners, but they're definitely not advanced. But that's all I have to say for now, guys. See you in the next video.